Hey Tim, Steve here. Uh, so to simplify our little testing here even more, uh, how about if we take the diodes out and just run the clip leads right to the same places directly with no diodes in there. And that's the top of R3, which is actually right on the switch contact, this inner switch contact. And then the other clip lead right on R2, the top of R2, just like where we had it before. And as you can see here, Tim, I just tied the clip leads together, just like you had when you had the diode shorted out. But I just put a pin, actually a piece of solder in there, just to join them together. And uh, if you reach in here and try to touch this innermost ground terminal, you'll see that it works. And what I was talking about before, instead of actually uh, putting your ground wire underneath there, I wonder if you're willing to try soldering a piece of wire to this terminal right here, this outside one. I think I incorrectly said the inside was ground, but it's actually the outside of ground. So this, point, this pin on the outside, uh, that trace should equal the inside of the other switch here, the outside pin, which should also equal that first position on a terminal strip. So maybe something has to do with it traveling too far in those traces, but you should be able to, whoop, let me get the camera here. Uh, looks like my solder broke, but uh, you should be able to take these two clip leads, instead of touching that terminal strip, just touch them to the outside if you had a wire you can solder on there. And that's just, uh, that's really the, the basic simplest thing we can do because these are the two switch terminals here and uh, this one connects to the other switch terminal so we're effectively right across the dog iron switch without the diode. Uh, like I said the diode is really needed to uh, isolate the two switches so that you can have independent functions but let's see if we can get your situation or your setup to be as simple as this. Two clip leads, no diodes and instead of tying your ground wire to that uh, first uh, position on that terminal strip try soldering a wire or just touching it right to that terminal there that is the ground so let's try 